in what's been a difficult offseason for college football. They've done a nice job of creating some different looks offensively. Empty look on second and ten. Jerkovic took a lot of time. Ball comes out, and there is a mad scramble for the ball. And BC is able to jump on it. As Long comes in motion on third and 12. Pressure off the edge. Garwo picks it up. And then taken down for the sack that time. And it's Chaz Surratt. By Chaz Surratt coming off the left-hand side. Garwo trying to go low. But Surratt stays with it, gathers himself quickly after the initial contact. Best linebackers in the country, especially when it comes to applying pressure. Grant Carlson on the punt away to the dangerous Daz Newsom. Newsom calling for the fair catch, and he does so at the 16. Williams comes in on third and one. He's the battering ram between the tackles. They're going to pass it on third and one, and they do so to Toe Groves, who explodes up the near sideline. Second and nine, Howell near side and gets it complete to the ultra-talented Deami Brown. Clemson, the second best group of skill position players in the ACC, including Howell, his dynamic running backs, and his excellent receiving core. Williams finds a crease and drives ahead to move the chains. He took Richardson for a ride. McDuffie made the tackle. Second and ten. Howell, pressure in his face, and he's going to be ridden down. And that was big Marcus Valdez with the sack of Sam Howell. Pass rush for Valdez. He's working against Montalis, the left guard. He swims inside, beats. Team captain Valdez with the sack to put North Carolina in a third and 18. Howell trying to extend the play. Launches downfield and has it complete for a first down to Bo Corrales. How about that third and 18 and they convert? That's the rule. <laughs> As a quarterback, Howell, good job buying time, escaping, and keeping his eyes downfield. And how about Corrales? I mean, he's looking right into the sun. Not easy to make that catch. Howell, plenty of time, and he gets it complete, and into the end zone goes Brown. Chaffrey Brown, the younger brother of Diami, with the touchdown for the Heels. Just a great throw and a perfect route design against man coverage. Joffrey Brown breaking to the inside, right, working right off the hip. Dracovic with time, cross field, and able to get it complete, and that is Jalen Gill. Let's check in with Paul. The offensive line making their calls here for protection. Third and ten. Three-man rush. Jerkovic stands up to it. Downfield and in stride complete. That's C.J. Lewis. Are you Ben Roethlisberger or not? <laughs> because this is vintage Roethlisberger. Just sheds a tackle from a defensive lineman. No problem. Moves to his left. Second and one. And the big David Bailey comes in as the Eagles running back. And he will get the work here, and with all that size, it doesn't take much for him to go downhill and pick up a first down. Not being able to move the football the way they could. Third down and six, here comes some pressure. Jerkovic lofts it and incomplete after the big hit on Hunter Long. Leaves him with an Aaron Bumeri 35-yard field goal attempt. And Bumeri, who was the hero last week, when he had the game winner, puts this through. 7-3, North Carolina. Has a quick strike to Deami Brown, and Deami Brown with a chunk play for the Tar Heel. Three for three on third down so far, all the heels, and Howell's gonna tuck, run, get it, and more. It's gonna be first and goal, North Carolina. Mike Palmer finally tracked him down. Big battering ram, Javante Williams comes into the backfield. Second and goal. And he will muscle his way in. That is what he is best at. Third down and two. David Bailey. And David Bailey just runs over two North Carolina players. 
and will move the chains past midfield when he gets going downhill watch out welcome to the party in 2020 man because that's the david bailey i expected to see this year he's kind of an aj Dillon clone kind of a jerome bettis downhill big body back so far ball was bobbled and Dracovic somehow gets it over to zay flowers but flowers with most of the north carolina defense pursuing 30 in this afternoon just outside of Boston. Second and 11. Jerkovic lofts it downfield and wide open downfield is Hunter Long. The All-America candidate at tight end who came into this week leading all tight ends in total catches in the country. Here, heavy play action. And you see Long on the left side of your screen sneak through and then on kind of like a reverse wheel route as you cross the middle of the field and then you get up field. First year head coach Jeff Halfley. Third and five, Jerkovic. And that is knocked out of the hands of Long. It was Trey Morrison coming in for the 27-yard field goal attempt. And he has his second of the day. BC cuts it to an eight-point margin, but will field goals get it done today? Second and seven. Howell from his own end zone. He's going to crank it up. He was hit. Ball comes out, and it is picked off. That is Brandon Sebastian with the big Reception for the Eagles. Just an excellent rush off the right side. They beat the running back there in protection as Williams was trying to pick it up. And big body down here. He's got to be your go to guy. Third and goal. Touchdown, Eagles. David Bailey leaking out of the backfield. Smartly done by Jerkovic and offensive coordinator Frank Signetti. And just like that, the interception is cashed in. It's a great call. You see internal pressure looking like it, but instead, internally, Jeremiah Gemmel, number 44 for North Carolina, he's actually in man coverage. Excellent receiving tandem for North Carolina. Here's Richardson coming in on Hal. Hal's going to tuck, run, try to get to the outside, and with that big body, he's able to go and lean forward against Josh DeBerry. Third down and seven. Howell going to take a shot, and it's incomplete. Good coverage that time from Elijah Jones on Deami Brown. Fanless atmosphere because of the state and local restrictions. Jerkovic trying to set up the screen. He does so to Garwell, but great pursuit by Jay Bateman's North Carolina defense. So third and 14 for Jerkovic. A big talented transfer from Notre Dame. He's going to check down underneath, and Spencer Witter is going to be cut down. Redshirt freshman from West Hartford, Connecticut. Trying to bring a lot of positivity to the world, so it's been a lot of fun to be a part of these last few weeks. Third down and six. Howell. A little bit of pressure, but look at his escape ability, and then leaps ahead for a first down. And six, that's incomplete. He was looking for Brown with the touchdown, but a flag's going to come in here as Brandon Sebastian, who had the interception earlier, was on coverage. Howell swings it to Williams. And Williams able to get the corner past midfield before he's finally tracked down by McDuffie. No doubt, but how about we give a little love to big number 84, Garrett Walston. Not usually that much of a factor in the passing game. Blocking right there. Williams finds a nice hole and then is able to get past to Barry and take him for a ride. And a flag is down. Check on that. Breakers all over the place in this Carolina offense. Here's one of them, Carter. And Carter, look at him go. And just like that, Carter turns on the speed down the sideline. Five-yard line. This is an awesome job. By pick number 84 yet again. Alston delivered the blow earlier. And how about two on the outside? He's going to shift to a tight formation under center. And Williams, with all that blocking in front, will have the first down for the Tar Heels. After the penalty, it's a first and 15. Howell off the play action. Pressure coming, and he's taken down. 
as getting to him was Barlow. With a huge play for Luka Boo's defense. Yeah, and he just goes right around Richards on the left-hand side. Can't stand back there that long and expect the O-line to hold up. Second and 20. How? look at the time he has here. But he can't find anything downfield. And then in stride he does, and it's Williams. What a play. How? Williams touchdown as Howell was right up against the line of scrimmage and threw it. This will be, should be confirmed. You can see 41 yard line is the line of scrimmage. Yes, the left foot goes over, but that's not a problem. The entire body of the thrower has to cross the line of scrimmage for it to be an illegal forward pass. And clearly, you can see his right foot, really the whole right side of his body is. Here we go, three timeouts remaining and 69 seconds for Dracovic. As coming back for the ball that time and getting it complete with Zay Flowers. It was incomplete when he was looking for long, so it's second and ten. Dracovic over the middle, and that is incomplete and low, and a flag is down as he was trying to connect with Jalen Gill. Three, Jerkovic, and they'll have the first down and more as Hunter Long scoots ahead. Haven't even had to use one of the timeouts yet. 25 seconds on the clock here at Alumni Stadium. In and six. Jerkovic, they're going to go screen now with Garwo. Cuts it back inside the 20. Tripped up just beyond the 15-yard line. They can use one of those timeouts, leaving them nine seconds left. So Boomeri comes on for the field goal attempt, 30-yard attempt. Two for two on the day. Off the upright and banks in. Well, he's good, but it's good to be lucky. Extending of the play to get the 41-yard touchdown. Carter comes out of the backfield. Howell goes to the top of your screen, and he does so with Corrales, who tips toes the sideline. Bo Corrales who's been dealing with a nagging injury lately. That in the red zone possession because of field goal for Boston College. Well blocked, and look at Carter that time, taking Max Richardson for a ride. Solid one-two punch to complement each other nicely. And this is coming off of a 21-day layoff, and here he goes again, just shredding the middle of that BC defense before Max Richardson finally got to him. Next play, it's the same play. But look at the right side of that offensive line, and more specifically, big old Jordan Tucker at right tackle. Third and three here. Howell looking to convert again. Pressure off the edge, and they get to him, and he stands up to it for the moment before. Now the ball's out. The ball is all the way out back at midfield. What a play by the BC defense. Every which way there was an eagle on him. Reverse in a major way. I mean, it's all out pressure. You have to know if you're Howell. You do not have all day. There's going to be an unblocked player. That unblocked player was Palmer. Howell tries to make something out of nothing, but I love the hustle here for Javante Williams, number 25, the running back, to save a lot of field position. That's great hustle there from the running back. Now punting is Kiernan. Dylan Gill, fair catch at the 15. Mike Palmer, a big play. Deion Jones, the starting safety is out, but Palmer just stepped up. For North Carolina, and if history's any indicator, they played pretty well in a bowl game last year. Worst starting field position today for BC, and it just got worse. David Bailey tackled for a loss there. Kamen Rucker, who's an outstanding freshman. They're going to be a really good group here pretty soon. Dracovic from his own end zone. And incomplete, and a flag is down. He was looking for Hunter Long, as he often does, the 11th time he's targeted him. He's been their best weapon. He's lined up in the slot at the top. Now he's in motion, moving from left to right. One of the best tight ends in the country. And that could have been intercepted by McMichael. And tried to dislodge the football as opposed to catching the football because that one's pick six all day long if he's more aware. Grant Carlson on to punt away. Daz Newsom, who's a very dangerous return man, driven all the way back and then taken down with great coverage that time from Elijah Jones. Javante Williams in the backfield. Quick strike. And Brown. Yards after the catch. Very well done by...
Deami Brown. Second and eight. Empty look for Howell. Four-man rush. Howell, plenty of time to wind it up. And that ball is intercepted, but a flag is down as Mike Palmer, the safety, came over. That was Williams all the way downfield. Penalty brings it past midfield to the BC 48. Carter looking for something, not finding anything as he is driven back by Brandon Barlow and the rest of that front seven. And another flag reigns in. And now players are in each other's face as coaches are coming to separate them from the North Carolina staff. So after the penalty, first down from the 33-yard line, and Carter struggles to get back to the line of scrimmage as he's thrown back again, and a penalty comes out again. Now he's got one-on-one -on -one with number two, Deami Brown, at the bottom of the screen. A-gap pressure coming after Howell, and it's incomplete. They sent Mike Palmer, the safety, right up the middle after Sam Howell. Grayson Atkins on for the 35-yard attempt. This kid is very talented as he puts it through. Third down and seven for BC. Four-man look coming after Dracovic. Look at the time he has. Directing traffic and then does find the target. Garwo, the running back, the redshirt freshman from Levittown, Pennsylvania. Third down and one. And that's exactly what they do, and that's exactly what Jerkovic does time and again every time he does quarterback sneak. And a really impressive performance here tonight. Third down and 12. Jerkovic, a lot of time, but he can't find anything. And now he turns around against the grain. And Jerkovic's going to run, and he doesn't go down until he's taken down at the 45. Grant Carlson had a field-flipping 52-yarder earlier. Now he's trying to pin North Carolina here. Toe Groves is the return man for the heels. And he gets the fair catch at about the 12-yard line. Fourth quarter with number 12 North Carolina on top, 24 to 16. Crossing route this time as Walston will have the first down. That interception when the ball was batted that teed up a Boston College touchdown. Williams, a lot of green space, and Williams so tough to bring down as he goes past midfield for the heels. In the run game, trying to secure the edges a little bit, get Williams and Carl. Howell, looking to extend the play, and then he's taken down. He is sacked by Isaiah McDuffie. Third and 18. Here's pressure, they pick it up, and there's a strike to Brown. But he's going to be well short of the line to gain as he is taken down at the 45-yard line. Big decision here from Mac Brown. Ben Kiernan is on to punt away. Jalen Gill's going to put those heels on the 10-yard line. Ozzie kick looking for the pin. Fair caught just inside the 10. Keep an eye on Hunter Long, who's in motion right now from left to right. Three, Jerkovic, and he'll get it complete to Spencer Witter. Jerkovic has thrown Long's way 14 times today. He has seven catches. Third down and 10. Strong arms it, and spinning his flowers, trying to get that line the game, but he's going to be short. That was Don Chapman who was able to tackle him. I would have gone for it. I mean, that has been unstoppable. So they play conservative. Carlson punts it. He's had a good game. Newsom. Fair catch down around the 20. Or is that an estimate? I'm so old, they weren't a million dollars back then, Greg. <laughs> they were just stairs. Inflation. 24 to 16. North Carolina. And there's Carter. Look at him go. Michael Carter. And it was only a matter of time with this North Carolina offense, right? All the talents thing away yeah and you just had to wonder I mean you had just a second to go Boston College fourth and one their own 36 yard line Jeff Halfley decides to trust his defense I'm Carolina I'm taking a shot right here second and two swing it to the outside and it is Daz and it is a first down for the heels inside the 30 Abu, the defensive coordinator for BC third and 18 showing a gap right now and he comes after him and how gets free 
And then he puts that body forward to the 31-yard line. Met up with Max Richardson there. Atkins on to attempt the 47-yard field goal for North Carolina. And that ball is no good. Got to have it situations. That's the direction you like to look. The guy you trust the most. So big number eight, you should get plenty of looks. Second and five. Dracovic tries to get free, and he does for a first down. And that is what he offers this offense. Can be off schedule with the big body and the long stride. Can move the chains. He does so there. Character a little bit. They're trying to get this offense into a rhythm. Pick up the pressure. Lofts it. Looking. And that ball is intercepted. Flag is down as Chapman corralled the ball. Understand why you would use tempo right there. Your quarterback sneak's been undefeated this year. Third and six. Four-man pressure on the slant that time. Galloway will have it. And that spot is going to have him just short. I believe they're not going with quarterback sneak. Fourth and one, and he's in the shotgun. And BC's going to get it by way of Garwo. So a first down. Then you have a circus seven on the outside that's about 10 to 12. Second and four. Four-man pressure, Jerkovic trying to extend the play. Gets it complete. Here's save Flowers. Flowers, what a move as he dives down to the 10. And BC is in business with a first and goal. Third and goal from the 32. Going to take a shot, launch it downfield. Incomplete. Flag comes down, though, at the three-yard line. As it was the backup corner, as you said, matched up with C.J. Lewis, Egbuna. Now it's a first down at the 17. They're showing edge pressure. Jerkovic is ripped down. I mean, just taken down hard by Hopper. Steps up. And he's going to be forced out. That was... Dangerous right there is Mac Brown having to avoid Jerkovic. Over the middle, he's got it complete for a first down to Hunter Long. It's a play. It's a beautiful throw. We got drama in Chestnut Hill. How will the script finish? Could have been, but incomplete. Big C.J. Lewis bottom of your screen. Nice. Right there on big number 80. Second and goal. Slam! Lewis scores! C.J. Lewis and this B.C. team soaring with confidence. Do they have it in them? Jerkovic chased back, looking for something, and it is picked off. Morrison on the return. He's going to take it for two. With the two-point return. Carolina lead. Here's a great look at the action from the AT&T 5G Skycam. Just nothing open. It's really an RPO. Can hand the ball off if you like the numbers. Dracovic opts to throw it. Nothing there. And that two-point return is enormous. But let's see what he can pull off here. Dribbler straight ahead. That thing was loose for a second. Both teams claiming they have possession. Comes up with it. The dribbler from Ruiz. Really well executed. As you see, the ball squeaks free right there. It's a fight underneath the pile. As you can see right there. I'm I know they say it's North Carolina ball. I, there's no clear recovery there, though. I mean, there's no telling what's going on at the bottom of that pile. DC's going to suffer their first loss of the year, but they're going to take a lot away from this. Played well. North Carolina's going to be dangerous all season long. Number 12 team in the country moves to 2-0.